Unreal. We can only dream. Anyway. <laughs> oh, dear me. We should be getting into this set very, very soon. The two of them have fist bumped. Here we go. Oh, no, they are playing the snake ditto. Oh, boy, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see who can, oh, I guess, edge guard the most or throw the most projectiles. So here we go. First damage goes to uh, to Kodiak here with that dash tank, but okay, yeah, making uh, making their presence known is at 66 damage on Kodiak already, and joining me for comms is Wrecker himself. What's well, good, everybody? It's your boy Wrecker. Uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be manning the stream as uh, I'm pretty sure my my boy has told you. But um, yeah, no, I went out to put a stream on. I basically, I went out to put a stream on. I said on stream, sorry. And then I've, I've been told by um, G, um, GBS Franker that he's put on um, a snake there. And I'm like, why have you done that? <laughs> why would We had to deal with one snake already. And now you're telling me that we're going to see a snake ditter. This is going to be... I'm pretty sure you've also also, also, also told him this. This is going to be the most anti-interaction game. And it actually, I'm meeting my words here. Because they're actually, they're actually scrapping. Um, so good, good, for, good for them and good for our viewers. <laughs> Just, to say the least. Yeah, there you go. The first stock, of course, being taken by Etz. Kodiak needing to find a way in, and, uh, well, Etz blows himself up. So, you know what? Not that big of a deal. Seemingly an even game again. Like, it, it seems like Snake's explosiveness doesn't translate to playing against Snake, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, no, I mean, it seems like both of them are, like, trading grenades every so often and not getting that much damage. Neither of them have had a really big conversion, and that's a large reason why we're both seeing them at basically even percent. Right, yeah, definitely. It's just, it's really, yeah, it's really funny that you said that, because they're, they're literally neck and neck right now, right? So, it, very funny indeed. And there we go, getting the, like, honestly, it's, it's really annoying to tell who's who, because these skins are so similar. Literally, the these ults, man, these snake ults. If only Kodiak went for it, you know? Yeah. Oh my god, there's three grenades on that one side. Yeah. They're playing Modern Warfare at him, and the Call of Duty bit ended like a couple days ago, bro. What's going on? What is going on? That's another back air that Kodiak did really high on the shield. The Nikita is going to have him. I mean, that back throw, uh, in terms of like what angle it sends you at, absolutely perfect for just Nikita to be like, yep, I'm going to start them there, and you don't really have a way to do with it. Yeah, basically, more or less, man. Uh, and we're once again, we're seeing that they, they are, again, neck and neck. Because after one person's taking the kill, the other one's like, yeah, it's my turn. Just snipes them from the, from the air. It's really funny seeing, like, Nikita come out and then you just see, like, the little projector following them, you know, and they're trying they're trying to escape, you know, but the Nikita's so slow and going upwards. You know, it's the perfect, perfect movement. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, Kodiak tacking on a little bit of damage, and all of a sudden, this man was at 24, and now he's at 72. Yes, These two it. are absolutely ridiculous, but here we go. Is that? I think that's ETS on stage. Uh oh. Yes, yes, it is. All yes. oh, the up till almost gonna kill a game that's been like in ETS's favor, momentum wise, pretty consistently. Might just slip from their fingers here. Wait, I, I didn't realize it. Wait, what if? What if I got the players wrong? I'm not even sure. Like, what, what if? Because I, I can't. I can't tell. So you're saying whoa is not? I, I don't know. I'm saying uh, the potentially. Because none of them have an. One's, one's put their tag as well. One's put their tag as well. On one. Wait. So. Well, you're going to have to be the one to figure out who's who, bro. Oh, this is. Because this is you're going to have to update the score. Well, Ed's just got upset there, so that means Kodiak took that game. Which means we don't want to around. <laughs> And that was the one game that Wrecker did for comms. <laughs> oh, dearie me. We've been talking about the wrong people the entire time. Oh, M. Night Shyamalan can write this shit. I'll tell you what. Well, okay. Now that we're going to get them the other way. I mean, you could always ask Wrecker. You could always ask which one's which. It's safe to say this is not ending up on either of our commentary reels. <laughs> That. Oh, no. That's cursed. That. Oh, my. oh, I mean, it's not my fault. I'm not the one that put this on this, this set on stream. Uh, I, you know, I'm taking more control of my stream. I'm, I'm choosing who, who gets put on stream. I'm gonna be the one screaming people's names now. Okay, but I think. Wait. Is, yeah. Okay. That. Is that? Is that correct? Is it good? I mean, you tell me. 
You know what, I might, I might, I might, I might actually have to just have a card to see who's who now. Because I'm getting annoyed. This is, this, this is despicable behavior from these two. I'm blaming them. I don't care. Oh, trying to air dodge into that grenade there. Not going to quite work. Going to have to try and get the C4 recovery. But of course, the C4 being on stage, that is going to be a death for Kodiak, apparently. You know what, Unfortunate. actually? Unfortunate. Kodak does use, like to use smiley faces a lot, but I'm not sure. Like, I don't see Etz. Look at him. Look at Etz, right? I don't see him putting a smiley face as his. Okay, yeah, it is. Okay, we're, 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 it's correct this time. You okay, see that? He, okay, he did the FGC go. head he nod. The, he God bless the, the FGC head nod. FGC head nod has differentiated who's who in this matchup. That's crazy. Absolutely. I, that's that's mad. Ridiculous stuff. But there you go. Okay, well, here we go. Did he just lose the stock? Then he just loses the stock. How is he? Bro, what's going on? Oh my god, so much good pressure from Kodiak there. And a good read on that roll. Kodiak, again, that momentum has always been there from the very start of both game one and game two. Not going to get the pick up on the down throw. Find the kill, though. That's, 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 that's what really matters here. Because with how even. Yes! Oh man, that up top wasn't the sweet spot. It's yeah, good DI kill. in there from Kodiak to make sure that they didn't die. The forward throw there. If he pummeled one more time, he definitely could have got that up tilt conversion. There you go. Down Bomb. throw straight into the up tilt. Lovely. That's going to be a stock. And Etz on their last winner's stock tournament, potentially. Goodness me. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, with Kodiak on two stocks at peace. And, you know what? Etz just cut. Bro, he's just taking all of this damage now. That was the down smash there, really. Yeah, you can tell he's panicking. You can tell he's a bit, he's a bit peeved. And that's going to be it. Yeah, that's it. 2 Wow. Um... That entire last stock was spent at that left ledge. Wow. Like, you're, you're, wow, that's actually an amazing observation. <laughs> it actually was. <laughs> they went, it like, Kodiak was just like, oh, sick, yeah, I'm just going to keep that. it in the corner. I'm going to pull grenade. I'm going to shield. And I am going to keep you in the most miserable advantage state of all time. That's where poor. That's actually poor. <laughs> Never put out, bro. The next TO to put on a freaking snake tail of all things is, is getting hands. I'm telling you.